What if a plant could be used to make biofuel, a biomass in plastics, and its fibers could be used in paper to help stop the clear cutting of our forest? What if this plant could also be used in textiles, and its oils and seeds could be used in our food industry, and would help stop many of the foreign dependencies that the U.S. has today? But what if this super plant was closely related to a known illegal drug? Industrial hemp can do all these things and many more that I've mentioned, but it has one major setback. It looks exactly like the drug marijuana. This makes it very hard to grow and use legally, and it's, and it's mistaken to cause people to get high when smoking it. Industrial hemp can change the world for the better. Of all these reasons that industrial hemp is a good thing. I have chosen three why it should be legalized and readily used in our lives today. Number one is that it's not marijuana and it cannot be used to get high. Number two, it can be used as a paper and it will help stop with the deforestation. And number three, it can be used as a biofuel and a biomass in plastics to help stop our dependency on petroleum. Industrial hemp is not marijuana and cannot be used to get high. THC, which is the active ingredient in marijuana, has to have a 3% level in order to get you high. Your higher end marijuana, if you will, the stuff that people smoke, normally contains about 10 to 15% of THC. While on the other hand, industrial hemp contains merely 0.5% to 1.5%, which is not enough no matter how much you smoke to get you high. The second argument that's made about marijuana and hemp is that the marijuana can be hidden in a hemp field therefore illegally grown and used. This is not true for two reasons. One is the marijuana and industrial hemp would cross pollinate and after this the first generation the THC levels in the marijuana would drop in half and, after, and the second duration would drop into half after that, and so on, causing it to lose its THC and therefore value. After the first generations produced, then it's no longer wanted by the consumer of marijuana. The second part of this is marijuana and hemp are grown in completely different styles in water and land, so they cannot be grown easily together in a field. And they're not harvested at the same time, so they would not be in the same field in the same place. Now that we've established that hemp is not marijuana, we start to use it to benefit our lives and to help save our planet. The best way to do this is by making hemp paper. Hemp paper meets the standards of the U.S. Printing Office, therefore we're not losing anything by making hemp paper as compared to the wooden pulp paper. The second is there are nearly 4 billion trees cut down every year and of these 4 billion trees 35 percent go straight to paper. Using hemp paper would cut down on this 35 percent of the 4 billion therefore saving lots of trees every year. The second part of this is that for every dry for every acre of industrial hemp 3 to 8 dry tons of fiber are produced compared to which is four times as much as the fiber produced by an acre of woodland. Also, the paper is two to three times stronger and lasts way longer than a paper used with wooden pulp. The Gutenberg Bible, the very first King James Bible, the first drafts of the Declaration of Independence, and the earliest known paper that we still have today from 770 AD was all printed on hemp paper and would not be in its present condition if it wasn't for being on hemp paper. The next part of helping the environment is making plastics and biofuel out of this <coughs> hemp. It's biodegradable and recyclable and is recognized by the green world for its CO2 reduction. The plastic made from hemp, or hemp plastic, is five times sti stiffer it's safer to produce, and when it burns, it doesn't release the harmful chemicals that sometimes plastic can. 
and it saves us from using petroleum. M many foreign car panels are now infused with hemp plastic, making them stronger and safer. Now, when we're making hemp as a biofuel, there are 70 qualities which make it a good target for a biofuel. The first is that it doesn't take great soil to grow in, and it can be grown in lots of uh, inhabitable places for most plants, making it very easy to grow all across the country. The second, and more important, is that it's not a crop. Therefore, it doesn't fluctuate the economy, causing food shortages and skyrocketing prices on a short year, such as corn. A professor of Professor Richard Parnas says it's not only important to have a crop that is easy to grow, but also a crop that does not compete with the food source, which causes major economic unstability. Now, now that we know that industrial hemp is not a drug, what's not to love? You can use a paper. You can use it to make paper, which helps stop with deforestation problems. You can use it to make plastics, which do not use petroleum, biodegradable and recyclable, as long as a biofuel that does not compete with the food supply and helps stop market unstability. Henry Ford says it like this, Why use forests that are centuries in the making, or mines that have taken ages to lay down, when you can get equivalent products from these hemp fields as you would from a mineral or forest product. The possibilities of hemp production are limitless. Once it's common knowledge that it's not a drug and it cannot be used to get you high, hemp can help the world become a better place with less dependence on non-renewable resources.